All right, so I thought real quick show you guys um, that bought one of these rabbits. You want to redo your dash, um, and the dash is um, not available. Maybe on the later model they are, but 80 and older, definitely not available. Um, I looked around, I couldn't find anything anywhere. Um, wish I could find one because the, the inside of these things made out of cardboard. Okay. So that's why a lot of the top is decrepit um, because support underneath is bad. So what I'm doing is I'm clamping, uh, we got silicone, steel, aluminum, whatever I've got here, electro galvanized and, and galvanized steel so it won't rust. And then, but all you have to do to get the dash out of this car is there's four bolts, one, two, three, four bolts. And, um, and then there's these clips right here to give a little wiggle if it doesn't completely fall apart because usually this cardboard's just shot. Um, and if it does, you're going to have to do this anyway. Um, that's how you do it. Give it a little wiggle. Make sure you got your wiring disconnected and your radio out. And then you just give it a little wiggle and pull it right out. And it comes right out. It's not hard to do. Um, I don't even think you need the glove box door off. He's got that off, but you don't need it. Um, take it out of the car, and I'll show you what I'm going to do real quick. Talk to you about what I'm going to do. So I went ahead and put these on here overnight. Um, put silicone. It seemed to form this really nicely. Um, firmed it up quite a bit because it was really, really loose. And uh, So now I'm going to show you the other side, what I'm going to do. So hopefully this works out because I only have one dash. So <laughs> no, I'm sure it will, but it's going to be a pain in the rear. Um, so what I'm going to do with this is uh, throw it in the trash. No, I'm not going to throw it in the trash. You can't buy another one. So um, is I'm going to peel off all this loose stuff. Everything that's kind of sticking up, I'm going to peel off. I mean, I could probably just peel everything off of this and re-foam this with that white foam and recover it um, but I'd have some trouble stretching in here in these corners I actually have some cloth and I'm debating whether I'm going to do that so while it's out I could do either one um, or I'm going to tear all this off here that's loose and falling off and then I'm going to uh, probably just lay fiberglass cloth over here cut out for these things here so it kind of goes down into the stuff put about three layers on here and uh, fiberglass this up and paint it so it looks nice because um, I just am tired of this crap and I hate that um, cloth that's on there you know having carpet up there just looks gross so I'd like to have something nice to look at when you're driving down the road. So anyway, even if I keep it or sell it, I'm still going to make it look good. Like everything else I have, I make everything look good. That's, that's what I like to do. So anyway, this gross little speaker, um, I think it's history. So I'll just tear all this off and uh, make a decision tear all the stuff off that I need to tear off and then I'll make a decision whether I'm going to get the white foam. I don't know, the white foam might be even easier and then lay the uh, stuff over it and just use some good Lando glue and uh, just stretch that sucker on there. Um, I have the really good, I'll get the stuff that's, I have the stuff that's in the gallon can and just brush it on here really thick and just start laying laying that um, vinyl on here and do it that way. But I'll have to put all that white foam on here that you can uh, you know, guys cut it out and make flames out of it. Um, and I'll just lay that on here really good and then cut it out for the corners and make it so that it wraps around so I can just tuck it down in there really nice. And you can really shape that stuff with an X-Acto knife and you know stuff like that and like I can bring it up to right here and then make a seam in this corner and then you know and make it so it totally fits um, the only thing around here I can't really 
this has to this dash piece has to come out so but um, I don't know I'm thinking about getting rid of the wood grain piece I'm not sure yet but anyway that's the next project here on the rabbit and uh, while the wiring's out I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing looking good so when I put it all back together we'll have like a nice looking new truck inside clean up the seat covers that I put on already and uh, we'll get it ready for paint and get it looking good again all brand new all right but um, yeah I'm just doing a little refresh on this thing I already did a um, I already did a restoration you know semi restoration and drove it for work for a couple of years and now I don't know if I'm gonna drive it for work anymore I think I'm just gonna make it into like a like a not a show truck but you know a daily driver type show truck you know that, that I can take to the shows and do a little bit of playing around with some drag racing or whatever anyway I'll talk to you guys in the next video